Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Jessica Michaels' 1,000 Subscribers YouTube Up. Yeah, and I am going to scrap lift her, and this is the one I picked to scrap lift. It has a cut file, a couple pictures. I'm only going to have one. I will have some paw prints in the background, and maybe something else. I'm thinking three things. Uh, this is the photo I'm going to scrap, and it's my daughter and her dog, Kimber. And this is the cut file I'm going to use. I got it from my scrappy friend, Debbie, and I already backed it. And then I didn't have a paw print um, stencil. Hers, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if she said in the video where hers was from. But you can watch her video and see. Mine I made with that die from uh, Sizzix. It's called, well, it's just called Dog Paw Prints. <laughs> A nice simple name. I am going to use uh, Vicky Booten's print shop and I have loads of ephemera, the papery um, stickers and scraps from other layouts that I use to uh, back the cut file and I'm sure all of you are better at doing it than me. I haven't done very many. I picked this almost solid paper to use and I have the paper pad, and this is a little on the short side. It's not a whole lot, but it is shorter than 12 inches. So I am putting, well, I put another paper behind it so I could tell what 12 inches was. And to make my paper a little more sturdy because I am going to add my paw prints. And so I added that little bit of black at the bottom just so that it'd be 12 inches. And I tried three things before I could get my modeling paste dark enough to go on here. I wanted a dark brown. Not a very light brown. This is kind of like a taupe. But I am going to add to it. The first, I used Tim Holtz crayon because I thought, well, that will keep it from getting thinner. And it'll go on the stencil batter. Well, I put a lot on that plastic paper and it didn't help much at all. So then I decided that I was going to add, it is Suki Nika. You know that one that starts with a T and it was walnut ink. And then I got out my uh, watercolors and it worked, but it did make it thinner. But I am going to make three rows of the paw prints on my layout. And I wanted this row to show to the right side of my photo so I at least have one row completely showing and the other two I just wanted them to kind of peek out here and there but uh yeah you can tell I use very thin cardstock I thought man I should have went ahead and used something sturdier and <laughs> by the time I got through the middle was pretty soft it was saturated with this um modeling paste and watercolor and spray and everything else but i got my paw prints on there and so uh, i used some of the watercolor with a few spritz of water and did some splatters to go with it now i wanted to um put the photo like I said, far enough over, you can see the paw prints. Well, I couldn't put it over as far as I thought. Everything's a little bit pictured differently in my head. Like, I wanted to put the last half of my title uh, underneath the camera. And I thought for sure I was going to have room by the time I got the photo and everything on there for two words at a time. But I seen quickly I couldn't. And so it's one word at a time. A couple things I could have put two, but I figured as long as I was going one and it fit one at a time, that I'd just go ahead and use the one at a time going down. But that made my title be, first, let me take a selfie with my fur baby Kimber, a.k.a. the backseat driver. Uh, she always calls Kimber her little lady because she behaves generally so much better than the other dogs do. But uh, the two labs, if she has all four in the car, it's like crazy. She always wonders what made her do that. But uh, they're more aggressive and they strive for attention. And all three of the other dogs do. But Kimber sits back and quiet. Well, she only took Kimber this time. And I am sure Kimber was thinking... Well, the 
places that Kimber, I'm sure, likes to go is the cabin so she can run wild and free, or McDonald's to get ice cream, or Starbucks and get a pup cup. So, yeah, I'm sure she was looking forward to something because there's always a treat in store when they get to go with her. And Kimber was the only one that got to go this time. She did put this on Facebook and she put the caption, new hack. But, you know, I decided to make my own title uh, and get to use this awesome cup file that Debbie gave me. Um, let's see. I am putting some papery down there in the bottom right-hand corner along with some ephemera and a tag from the uh, sheet that has all the tags. And, um, yeah, I'm just kind of tucking it underneath that uh, border that I put there. And I do not know the name of that border. You'd think they'd put the name on the punches, but no. And, of course, over the years, I forget. But it is a Martha Stewart punch. And... Um, I seen this documented and I first thought I'd put it up over the picture, but I decided that it'd just be right there in between the paw prints and it was, really wasn't working for me. So I put it down there at the bottom on the left instead. Oh, and when I went to do the top left corner, I seen the, this get cozy and I did put it up on foam tape and tucked one word in and then kind of put the other one, uh, Caddy corner, you know, it's wonky. Wonky, that's the word I want. <laughs> I put the other word wonky on there because I forgot about it and it did not end up where I had planned. And I ended up with stuff on there I didn't have planned. So, yeah, it's, it's on there. But I did want it since I do look pretty cozy in the photo. That black die cut at the top, it's a Sizzix. I can't remember what. I know it said labels but I don't know if it had another name with the labels. But I cut several out and put in this collection since, you know, there is black in the collection. And I thought, well, I'll probably want to bring some of that out. And so I thought since I had the border down there at the bottom, that I would put it up there at the top. And I did plan on more of it showing than this. But um, once I put the one banner down, I really like three at least together. And I had scraps, so I decided to go ahead and add the other two. But there is a little bit showing. And I did get a sticker out, and it says um, Kindred Spirits. And I'm just going to kind of nestle it in there. And since I had a flower down there, well, I have two flowers, I believe, down there at the bottom. And I knew I had a few that was smaller, got off the sticker sheet to go on the camera. I decided I needed at least one flower up here, and I didn't have any more small ones. So I cut one off and kind of tucked it under. But while I'm making my cluster on my camera, I want to mention that down there below, you'll find the links to everybody that's helping Jessica celebrate. Now, if you go over to Jessica's channel, uh, she will have a video with a similar, <laughs> kind, of stuck, kind of sort of close to hers. Uh, you can see it up there in the upper left, and she does have a video. Um, and she has three kids. One's a brand new baby. And how in the world she finds time to make uh, layouts and videos, I don't know, but she does. And she is on a couple of design teams. So be sure to go check her out and everybody else down there that is helping her celebrate. I'm sure you'll find lots and lots of inspiration. I have that one little sticker and it says this here <laughs> and it's going to have an arrow pointing to Kimber but uh, I didn't want that peach colored flower up there by the center because you know my daughter's favorite color is pink and this is sort of an, an iffy pink and I thought well I already got the background pink and then I've got the this here but I really wanted this here. I considered putting it on top of some black and um, have it pop a little more and then I changed my mind but I put the peach flower over as far as I could and then I added the other two colors and of course I fussy cut some hearts to go on here I cut some bigger ones and then I cut some tiny ones too but I could the not the tiniest tiniest 
but the middle size one I did put on foam tape and so I'm going to put three in each cluster but that's it that's my layout and I had a lot of fun making it and scrap lifting uh, Jessica's layout especially since I had a cut file she uses cut files fairly often she's on a team that has cut files so um, Oh, and here's my Get Cozy that I tucked in that I knew I wanted to use. And so it did not end up quite like I planned, but I like how it ended up. And I put Kimber and Backseat Driver up on black and foam tape so they'd show up more on my title. And, um, oh, there's my camera. And, yeah, it's a cute, cute cut file, and I did have fun backing it. But you didn't want to watch because I am sure you can do it a lot faster than I did. But if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so very much. But have a happy, scrappy week. Have fun on the hop. Check Jessica's channel out. Bye.